It all starts with a perfect, clean silicon wafer, 12 inches across. It's spun at high speed. A few drops of a UV-sensitive liquid are enough to coat the wafer evenly. And then, it's into the photolithography machine. It's a bit like the way photos used to be printed in a dark room, but in a machine costing a hundred million dollars and with the accuracy to match. 60 years ago, a transistor we are able to see using humans' uh, naked eyes. Today's uh, size is in fact like uh, almost 10,000 times uh, smaller than a human hair. That's a huge amount of uh, innovations uh, especially coming from photolithographies in order for us to print or define such small patterns onto the wafers. Inside the machine, the wafer is exposed to UV light, projected through a mask carrying the design like a film negative. This light optically prints the circuit design onto the wafer, causing exposed areas to solidify while unexposed ones are etched away. This process happens time and time again as the circuitry is built up in layers.